Hey guys, it's me again, Grace, and I'm back for another topic to share. I hope that everyone is enjoying their summer, even though we can't always go out because of the pandemic. So for today, I will be sharing with you the things that I do before my lesson. In this video, you will learn effective ways on how to avoid panicking in your classes. So if you are interested, keep on watching. So I titled our video, Keep Calm and Don't Panic. I know that it's normal to feel panic, especially if we are still new in the company and we are having consecutive classes. If you want to share your experience during your first lesson in Rare Job, you can post it in our comment section below. Who knows, other teachers can relate to your experience. So these are the four things that I do to prepare myself. First, always refresh your dashboard. There are two reasons why we need to constantly refresh our dashboards. One, if you are fully booked, there are chances that some students cancel their lessons with you. So refresh to check possible cancellations. The second reason is that if you are not fully booked, refresh to check if a student book for your open slot. Remember that students can book at least 5 minutes before your lesson, so to avoid surprises, refresh your dashboard even when you are in the middle of your class. Second, if you found out that a new student booked for your class, immediately prepare the lesson material for you and your student. I expect we all know where to find the materials, right? In my case, I bookmarked the website for the materials, so I would easily find the books. I know it's a bit challenging since during this time you are still having a lesson with a student, but as much as you could, try not to make your student notice that you are doing something. In this case, you need to master the skill of multitasking, stay focused in the class even if you are doing something. The third is to scan the lesson. This part is a bit difficult if you're still having a lesson with another student, so I recommend you to scan the lesson during your 5-minute break. For those teachers who don't have lessons before the actual booking, so you have more time to review the materials. In my opinion, a curriculum like DNA needs more preparation since there might be chances that you will discover new words, so scanning is very important. And if you know that a word is new to you, so you can do advanced research of the meaning. So in case the student will ask, you can answer confidently. For JE, I think this curriculum is manageable since we have the script. But I recommend everyone to double check the pronunciation part since I've heard some teachers are struggling with pronouncing the different sounds. So this one is a consideration. And of course, for free conversation classes, as I have said in my previous video, you can search topics online. And last but not the least, ready your notepad. Actually, I have a video about how I multitask during my lessons. So if you haven't watched it, you can check the link in the description section. There you can see the different templates for our feedback. It's essential to have the template so that you don't have to write it over and over again every time you have a lesson, and that is really time-consuming, so you can check our video for the templates. Alright, so again teachers, these are the four things that we need to do before our lessons. First, always refresh your dashboard, and if it's booked, prepare the materials for you and for your student and then scan the lesson to be aware of new words and for the pronunciation guide you need to use dictionary.com if you are struggling with the words or how to say the words and lastly ready your notepad for your feedback so that's all for today's topic i hope that this video is helpful to you if you want to stay updated with our upcoming videos Please consider subscribing to our channel and liking our videos. Thank you so much for your support. I am so glad that you are watching my video. Take care and see you in my next one. God bless!